Hey, Clara Adelena and the birds on the first day of the dating challenge. I'm super excited, so I can hardly speak. <laughs> ah. Yesterday, I couldn't even connect to the energy anymore because I was so excited, I realize now. But now we're really starting tuning in the theme of day one. Tuning in. When we start dating, when we have that moment of, okay, you know, okay, you know what I mean? Okay, I have to, I have to go dating again. I do want this. Dating, it seems, yeah, how does it seem to you? Insurmountable, tough, painful, impossible. We have all these ideas about what dating is. But there is something in us, like, I'll just have to put my shoulders beneath it. Ah, oh, that nightingale, it's so beautiful. That's why I got up really early to meditate here with you, together with the nightingales and my doggy. Um... So we have that feeling like my, my heart wants it. I want love. I don't want to stay single. I do need to change this. But it feels like this, uh, uh, this uphill thing that we have to go through first. So there's two things for today. One is tuning in. If you were tuned in to the pain and to the insurmountable and to the... Uh, and to say, okay, then what do you think you'll attract? Not much, right? Not somebody who's really excited about you and working with you. But if you were tuned in to that deeper longing in your heart, that knows there is a partner for you, that knows there is abundance, that knows that love is the biggest thing, and of course it's there for you, then what do you think you'll attract? So day one is all about tuning in. It's about getting a bigger vision, reframing the journey, seeing the journey in a positive light. And it's about choosing the dating app. And for some of you, that's obvious. You already made your choice. For others, that's still a thing. Oh my God, dating apps. So those are the three topics for today. And right now I'm going <coughs> to focus on tuning in, tuning into the abundance. But take a breath first, breathe out first rather. Ah, ah, ah. Just allowing yourself to hear these sounds of nature. I will come back to guide you too, but I really want to do this together with the nightingales and the other birds. So allowing yourself to breathe out, to relax as you listen to a new day beginning. Feeling the earth beneath you. Hmm. Feeling the earth beneath you. Hmm. The nightingales, like other birds, are singing to attract their partner to build a nest. The nightingale came all the way from South Africa to build a nest here. First the man come and they start building the nest. They start singing and then when the 
the girls come, they hear which one is calling them loudest, most beautiful, with the most heart, the sound that resonates with their soul. What a symbol to have that next to us here. So relax, you're part of nature. The nightingale is making himself heard in this quest for love. And it's okay for you to make yourself visible in this quest for love. It's the most joyous thing in the world. Mm. So breathe out. Feeling the earth beneath you. Allowing your spine to become straight. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just a few creases that you can kind of mm, allow to stretch. Yeah. So the energy flows more easily up and down your spine. Yeah. Feeling the earth beneath you, as if like the tree you're rooting into the earth. Hmm. And then allowing your legs to slightly open, just as much as is comfortable. And allowing your yoni, the sacred lips between your legs, to open too just as much as feels comfortable. It's more like letting go of the idea that we have to keep them closed all the time. Yeah. So your yoni, your pelvis is opening up to Mother Earth and to the abundance of spring, of nature, of love. Hmm. And opening your crown chakra to the sky. Just as we open a yoni to the earth, it's like an, another yoni of the fontanella, right? It's an opening in the skull, allowing it just to slightly to open to the sky as much as is comfortable. Yeah, and feeling yourself like a channel connecting sky and earth, earth and sky. Notice, Sana, that I actually begin the meditation. The nightingale is making place for me. That's what happens in nature. And we really tune in to our quest, to what we need to do. All of nature starts helping us, making place for us. When you tune in to the abundance of the desire in your heart, Mother Nature is going to help you. Bring this man to you so quick. But you need to be in alignment and you need to Allow your voice to sound, both. Mm. Relaxing your shoulders. Ah, breathing out. I'm feeling, feeling your brain. <clears throat> Feeling your brain is just like feeling the earth or feeling your belly. It's not focusing on what you're thinking. It is really feeling like, hey, how is the state of my brain, physically speaking? Do I feel pressure? Do I feel hmm, tightness? Does it feel open? And the challenge here is to notice without judging. 
It's not one good and one bad. And we're doing this because we tend to have so much tightness in our brain and then it isolates from the rest and it prevents us from doing the work we need to do. So all we're doing is helping the brain to relax and to connect a bit to the body. That's all. Ah, yeah. Feeling how good even that feels. We're not so interested in the thoughts left or right. So feel the brain tight, throbbing maybe, spacious, warm, cold. And just from from somewhere in your body allowing this, this connection to happen. Oh, brain, okay, oh, so you're a bit, you're a bit tight, you're a bit throbbing, you're just nice and spacious, oh, okay. Right, that energy, yeah. And feel what that does to you, how it helps you to come a bit out of that brain, out of the mind, and how it actually it's helping you to just allow that brain to be It doesn't have to work that hard. Something else is taking over. Something else is taking over. While I do it, I see my dog is refusing to sit where I thought he would sit and where I'd put a nice warm blanket for him. Yeah. So now I'm putting the blanket where he is, and he's coming on top of it. That's like what we do with our brain. We don't force it to go where we think we need it to go. We just watch where it is, and we bring it some love. Hmm. And just this ease, and then feeling your eyes. And in the same way that we did with the brain, feeling how your eyes are. The eyes work very hard in our time, with all the screen time. How is that for them right now? Are they tired? Are they still tight? No good or bad, connecting to how it is. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And feel what happens in your body as you're taking this easy time with yourself, with the surrounding, with the earth, with the sky, with the birds, with me, with your body. Maybe you already feel a bit of energy just starting to awake because you're more embodied. Yeah, just allowing that. Mm. Thank you, eyes. Feeling your cheeks. Yeah, feeling your jaws. Same thing. How are they? Are they tight? Are they in fighting mode? Are they relaxed? Are they holding back tears? How are they? And from that same place, somewhere between your heart and your belly, your heart and your womb, hmm, allowing that caring to come. Okay, cheek, okay, jaw. Ah, I see you. I see you. Hmm. Yeah. And feeling what that does in your body. No goal to change, yet then change happens. Yeah. Yeah. Just as in love, no goal to find a partner, yet being on the path. And then he can come. Hmm. We work that magic all the time. Yeah. And we practice it right now. 
If you're still thinking, oh, I need to relax, then you're still thinking, I need to find my partner with that same energy, and it's not going to work. It's going to be that mountain. We are shifting it right now, small steps. Yeah. Feel the ease of that in your body. Feel something shifting around the idea of dating. Yeah. Mm. As I speak, three ducks are very slowly gliding in front of me. Allowing the slight morning breeze to bring them where they need to be. And other ones splashing. <laughs> ah. Feel that you're rooting back to a level of being, a level of connectedness that maybe you haven't been in a long time. Hmm. And how light and easy things come become from this place. And then, ah, feeling your shoulders, how are they? Mm, carry a lot of weight in our time. And they tend to hunch over, sitting before our screens. Just giving them this beautiful moment of, hey, but I see you. I see all the work you're putting in. Yeah, how are you? How are your shoulders? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And how that simple question helps to shift your shoulders, your cheeks, your jaws, your eyes, your brain, your whole body. Yeah. Because it comes from another place somewhere between your heart and your womb. You don't have to localize it. Don't try. Yeah, I got that. Don't try. Yeah. Mm. And then bring your awareness to your hands. feeling how they are. They tend to get stressed, always ready to hit the next key. How are they now? Hmm. Yeah. Hello, hands. Yeah. And then you're really focusing on the tips of your fingers and the tips of your thumbs. They're extremely sensitive, extremely. They're used nowadays to identify us. So much me in my fingertips. So much of my energy in my fingertips. Yeah, what a joy to connect to that and say hello fingers. Hmm. And then slowly bring the middle fingers of your hands towards the thumb of the same hand. So that they start making a ring. The middle finger and thumb of the same hand, doing it for both hands. And we do it very slowly. If they already touch, just take them apart again. You're going to do this much slower. So really taking the time to start feeling from the place of your middle finger, hey, hello, thumb. From the place of your thumb, hey, hello, middle finger. And then starting to move towards each other, like two people from the side of the room, starting to walk towards each other. Yeah, feeling every step of that journey. Yeah, feeling the magic middle finger and thumb they're alike yet so different like soulmates 
feeling that journey, enjoying how they're coming closer and how there comes this point where inevitably they're attracting each other. Yeah, if you don't feel it, don't worry. Just go with it and know that it works anyhow, even if you don't feel it. Yeah, bring them closer. This is the journey of you and your soulmate. Enjoy every step of it. And then they're about to touch. They're about to touch. They're feeling overwhelmed by each other's energy. Enjoying that fully, that flush of energy. And then the moment comes and yeah, yeah, they touch. Ah, blast of energy. This is you. This is your middle finger and your thumb. This is your soul energy. This is the energy with which you will attract your soulmate, on which your soulmate resonates. You're feeling it now. Ooh, enjoy it. Yeah, and feel that it's not just happening in your middle fingers and your thumbs. It's spreading into your hands, your arms, your body, your head, your pelvis, your legs, your feet, your little toe and your big toe. All of it. It's your frequency. It's always been there. But now it's that much more activated. Yeah. This is you. This is why a person is attracted to you and not to anybody else. It's not the lipstick. It's not the nice words. It's this energy. Yeah. Enjoy it. Maybe you never consciously felt your energy so strongly. And feel that you're feeling it, but our whole circle of women is feeling it. Everybody on their own moment this day. You're part of something, a woman claiming back their own energy field. Feeling it, recognizing it, differentiating it from others, yet connecting. This is why we each attract our own soulmate. Yeah. Ah. And feel how from this place, how different the journey will be of dating. Ah. I connect to this energy that is me. And my man will feel it wherever he is. And he will come. And I need to take actions to stay aligned with it, to allow this energy to come through. But this is the core of what's going on. No insurmountable mountains. But activating this delicious energy and learning how to show up without killing it. Yeah. Mm. Learning how to talk without killing it. Learning how to connect to a man without killing it. What a beautiful journey. The nightingale has become silent. Listening. There's other ones further away that we still hear. But there's this silence like nature holding her breath, supporting the magic that's happening here. You, your energy feel, your middle fingers and your thumbs, feel it, feel it in every cell. And again, if you don't feel it, don't worry. Maybe in a few days you will, maybe not, but it still works. Ah, it works stronger when you feel it. That is helpful. So that is what we go for. No pushing, no stress. Mm. Feel how feminine your body is. How feminine this energy is, 
how feminine your body is when this energy is flowing through her, when it is activated. It's like your breasts are coming alive, your buttocks are becoming rounder, your yoni is opening slightly more, your cheeks are opening more, your smile is allowed to come through, your hair falls better, your energy field, the feminine in you awakening, your soulmate, wherever he is, feeling it. Yeah. Mmm. We're tuning in. Tuning in to this level where attraction is so natural. Like the nightingale singing, calling their partner from South Africa. From the other side of the world. <sighs> yeah. That's the power we each have just like the nightingales and we're tuning into it mm. feel the joy of it moving through your body the joy of yes there is love for me of course there is and i'm tuning into that level and i'm allowing dating to happen from this place and I'm here to align more and more. And when I'll go on the dating app, it will be from this energy. I will bring, be bringing my energy to the app. I don't come from a place of neediness, of seeking, of being hungry and empty. I come a place of having this beautiful energy to share. Yeah. Mm, feel the joy of it. Feel already how the dating app will become lighter as all of us are going on the apps, bringing our energies. We are changing the face of the world. And right now in this challenge, we're beginning with the dating apps. Yeah. Mm. But we're also beginning, of course, in our own life. People will be seeing and feeling this in you the whole day. Notice it. Make a note of it now. To take notice when people say, hey, you're looking good today. Or when they give you a smile and turn the hat when you come. That's this energy, your energy. Ah, and you know it. It's nothing new, I'm telling you. But we're actually allowing ourselves to relax into it. It's a paradigm shift. No new facts, but a new way of thinking and being and acting. And we are part of it. And from this place, it will be so easy to find the right dating app. We're not stressing about it now. But we are just allowing already this ease to come into that joy, that choice that we will be making today. Yeah, from this place, we will know, right? And we will know. Hmm. So already enjoying this whole journey, this challenge, these five days and everything that's going to come from it. Enjoying that last night when we will be meeting together on a webinar to see how we can continue from here to bridge our sacred five days to the rest of your life. But also to bridge our each unique little circle to the other women. Yeah. This is all part of the magic we are weaving. Congratulations on being here. Congratulate yourself on being here. Feel one more time that delicious energy that is you. Ah, I know the whole day you can go back to this and your whole life you can go back to this. And you can do this meditation as often as you want. I suggest at least one time daily. Mm, we will have new meditations, but this is like the root. It will stay available after the challenge, no worries. Ah, feel the abundance of it, the abundance of you, of the love in your heart, the love in your womb, the love in your soul. Feel it and feel right in there the desire for family, for kids. Yeah, feel how that, just naming that even activates your energy even more. Feel that circle of 
middle fingers and thumbs, the two circles, broom, being even more alive. Yeah, that's the journey we're on. And it's there for you. And we will find it. Thank you. Thank all the spirits. Thank your own body. Thank the earth. Thank the sky. I thank you. And if you wish, you can thank each other and thank me. Yeah. Thank the nightingales. Thank life. Love is part of life. The quest for love is allowing ourselves to simply become part of life again. Have an amazing day. Aloha.